if you right click a spawner with a spawn egg, then that spawner will start spawning whatever spawn egg you right clicked it on. So let's see if it... There we go! And what do you look like naked? Hey, Prismarine! I shared the Prismarine ship and it has a sponge Senna. Meaning that I'm guessing if I start killing them, I'll maybe get some sponge? What is up the world of the living? My name is Leigh to welcome back to Fish and Ship. Oh my god, I look in this clothes like I'm someone's younger brother. <laughs> like I'm someone's younger brother who grabbed their jacket. There we go, that's more like it. Welcome to the best map about pirates. I saw on marketplace yet so last time I promised you that we will look into this uh, prismarine ship and see if they do indeed drop sponge and they do not six at a time I already had five but quite a few quite a few sponges they already dropped and I bred quite a few of them in waiting for this episode to begin this of course means that now with our sponges freely available and Prismarine available for our conduit, we will be able to do quite a bit of cool things. Particularly, I was thinking of draining that specific spawner that uh, we created of the custom ship in the previous episode. Unfortunately, of course, you people were quick to find out, uh, to point out that before I can make a conduit, I need eight conch shells. Well, not conch shells, but you know, shells. The Nautilus ones. I got one, and I got another one over there in the uh, in the spawn island. So we'll pick it up in just a moment. But in the meantime, we got our first blocks of prismarine, and we got our first spruce saplings out of the entire operation. And as you know, as you know, if we feed new materials to the good old uh, to the good old bot at the beginning of the map, at the hub of the map. Then we will get some maybe useful advice out of him. No, I make no promises. So uh, let's launch some fireworks. Let's evacuate for a little. Uh, I'll see you right back, my dear sheepies. Should have said it a little bit. Oh, there we go. All right, you tell me all you can tell me about the what you call it ship, mushroom ship and prisma mushroom ship. How do I mushroom ship? Are you are you kidding me? Okay, look, 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 look. Uh, spruce log. Spruce sapling. Let's see. Pumpkin ship and spruce ship. So pumpkin ship exists as well. And just for the good measure, I'm pretty sure this is the one where he says, yep, go to 300 by minus 200 for a surprise. And that's a thing, guys. I didn't, uh, last episode we investigated these coordinates, I didn't take into account that it was Y16. And uh, mapmaker Dan Rob's props actually pointed out to me that no slow, you have to go to those exact coordinates and that's when you'll get a treasure. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go there, do a little bit of treasure hunting from the beginning of the episode and we'll continue our ship enterprises just a smidge later, alright? First and foremost, I want to get rich. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. We maim and steal and also kill and they all die of scurvy. Okay, Y16, here we go. I mean, I say here we go, but we will actually have to you know, stop and dig for a little. Okay, this is only, only 30 blocks away from where I'm actually supposed to dig. So, you know. Oh, that is. Oh my god, that is. Oh my god, there it was. Oh crap. Ow! Okay, there has to be a better way to approach this situation. Do I have- Oh, hey, I also have a trident. Hey, bud! Stab! And, uh, more direct stab? Yay! Okay, 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 okay. Not much left. Potion of water brain. Thank you. Some wet sponge. Go away. And a spawn of quartz ship. Oh dear, oh my, oh wow, that's great, that's wonderful news, thank you so, so, so much, I, I need to resurface, I need to resurface, ASAP, get me in the boat, <gasps> oh my god, thank you, okay, cool, what did you find, uh, ultimately, 
we found the last spawn of quartz ship. I have no idea. I'm guessing I will I would encounter it anyway in the nether. Then again I could not have and hey, I never know like when I actually gonna get some lava in this map. So this is a uh, this is all, this is all new. This is all new and very very useful. Huh. Do I want a spawner of it though? Is the question. <laughs> Do I want just a spawner of quartz sheep available? Also, I've been told that I can milk a squid. I milked a squid. Wow. Gang, you'll be shocked, but I got the reasoning, I got the reasons and I got the everything to go and make a sh quartz ship spawner. Now, why, I hear you ask, and uh, the answer is... <laughs> no, really though, when you think about it, I have several sponges on me, right now, right? And, on top of that, I have quite a few materials on me uh, that will make it so I can easily transform this uh, spawner into a functional one. But on top of that, one quartz ship isn't any good to me anyway. One quartz ship I can't even breed. I can't even get more quartz ships. I won't even be able to get enough quartz out of it to convince the robot to give me stuff. Right? To give me hints on it. So my best bet actually is to create a spawner out of it and then, mind you, Spawn several ship instead of one Is that not the cleverest thing I ever said? Okay, look look if I want to then repurpose this spawner for, for a spider one or for a zombie one or for a whatever one I still can because you can right-click a, a spawner that already has something in it with a spawn egg and Cause it to recombobulate meaning that we are actually Absolutely free to make a quartz ship and now I'm just gonna farm it for a while and then grab two of the specimen and get them all the way up to the surface and drag them to my lovely, lovely ship collecting area. <laughs> Am I not the smartest person on this entire map? There are no other people on this entire map. I would be remiss to not to point out that uh, the quartz ship kind of looks like it's been, yeah, maimed quite a bit. With bones sticking out of it. Maybe not the best texture to apply to a ship. And of course, we will be introducing them into the amphitheater of the ship. And trying to figure out their secret. Trying to get them to breed with anyone else. But first, I think it would be logical to try and uh, get some info about it from the information boat. So, there we go. And uh, here's a gamble. Which of these do you think will the guy react to? Because it only drops like three of them, but you know, never know. None of them. The answer is none of them. I feel so ripped off. Okay, let me tell. Uh, let me know if it's at least one of the complicated or non-complicated ones. It's the advanced one, and. Uh, we got it a little bit anticlimactically, I feel. Okie dokie, my dude. Wow me. I'm over here with my pen ready. I'm ready to mark down whatever you create. You and one of each of the other ship. It's free market. Go, go ahead. Do whatever you want. Come on. That spruce ship is gonna die. So that was a fun side adventure, we got treasure hunting, we got nether quartz, all that kind of fun stuff. Hey, nether quartz, that's competitors. Technically, we could probably do better redstone now. But, either way, we need to get back to our main plan. And my plan for the day was to expand our ship spawner rooney. And at least make it a little bit half cable. Here's the situation though. We are in a position where we don't really are ready for conduit power because I'm not spending another half an hour sitting there just uh, fishing for nautilus shells with this basic fishing rod being my only one. So what we are doing though is we are drying all our sponges, taking the furnace with us 
and going over to the AFK spot. AFK in for a while, just enough to get the oak to connect the entire area to the ground, dry out the area, dig out a hole for the ship to fall into, and create a little uh, water uh, mechanism that will fold them in there. Sounds like a plan, sounds like a plan. I'm glad that I agree with me, but at the same time you have to understand, like, we do need to make it out cable. We don't, we maybe don't want to make it out to killing yet, because my sword does at least have looting one on it. And really, this is not a server, this is my personal world. I can probably afford to just, you know, let a bunch of ship uh, sit there in a hole together. And if, you know, if they crush the world, well, they crush the world, whatever, I make frequent backups. It'll be fine. Cut to it immediately being not fine. Well, here's a crumbed and tiny uh, area for the spawner that was gifted to us by the map. And uh, here's a nice wooden box in which I plan to put it. Now, here we go clearing it out. And honestly, I am very happy that we have sponges, but also it is going to be quite a challenge to walk with them still because of how, you know, the restoration of the everything works in Minecraft. Yep, what is a little bit of a nightmare, isn't it? But I do believe that we can easily clear it out if we just do it smartly, cleverly, and cautiously. Uh, and also if I just pick up every single sponge and don't actually lose it. Though honestly, when you can farm them as easily as you can on this map, I feel almost bad treasuring the sponges. You know, it's not really a hot... Not really that hard of a commodity to get. Hi, ship. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> hey, there we go. Oh, my. Yeah, I better figure out an actual system for this eventually. But for now, this will do. This will do. And we have cleared out all of the water within the cube of the ship farmage. Now, this here box works the same by the same logic as any other mob spawner, really. There's nothing uh, to it. Right now, it is uh, spawning the ship up there. And because the ship are, are dropping down, uh, you know, for those of you unfamiliar with the spawner science, they are instantly exerted from the mob spawner's own mob cap. You see, the mobs from a mob spawner, they will always ignore the actual mob cap of the game, and they will also respond to the spawner's own mob cap. Uh, a spawner will not spawn anymore as soon as there are... Eight, I'm pretty sure, or maybe four, don't quote me on this, of the mobs that it spawns within its reach. But the reach of a spawner only reaches out to three blocks. Basically, to two blocks on top of it and one block under it. Meaning that if you just drop them instantly into the, this his cell, they will be spawning non-stop forever. And I can in easily FK down here and then get myself a lot, a lot of sheep, and just kill them with my looting sword. Because <laughs> that's how good we're living right about now. This, of course, means that I can effectively AFK for all of my wood, uh, which is why it's the more ridiculous that I haven't put together any chests for the area yet. Uh, also, also while, the, while I was AFKing for this wood here, for all of these planks, I have amassed uh, two... And then some stacks of pure ground. And that too is pretty flipping amazing. That is incredibly useful to, for what we're trying to do. Because wheat is of an, of an essence. And we need a lot of grass also to feed our sheep. So yeah. Our flock is in instantly growing. This is going to be quite amazing. So I just maybe want to... To funnel the ship into a singular spot now so that they're much easier to kill but that will mean that I need to drain out another area right by this by this place and yeah I am overflowing with mutton holy crap I am drowning in raw mutton and I mean it's riggedy but it works okay <laughs> quite a bit like it's uh, quite an upgrade all things considered Seeing how 
the spawner actually functions. So I think I'll leave that up there as my designated AFK area question mark. Or maybe down here though. Honestly, I can see myself getting attacked and killed, mind you, in either spot. So I need an, a separate AFK room, which I guess, I mean, boop, 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 glop, glop, glop. And uh, done. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Much AFK, very room. Sponge, sponge. <laughs> I cannot believe how easy this is. I am losing my mind over how easy this went. And look at that, we just get ship. We just get a lot of ship. Just a lot of ship. Now, admittedly, this AFK room is actually kind of too far away from where the actual spawners are. And the spawners, once again, the science of spawners says that if you are within 16 blocks, they function. But if you are within 8 blocks, they really function. They kind of go into spawner overdrive. And that's great, and that's prime, and that's absolutely amazing. Except that I don't have enough, sp uh, enough room in my inventory to do anything with this for a moment. So here are the chests. Here goes the mutton, and would you look at that, just by being here and working here and slaying drowned every now and again, I already got myself, um, you know, four whole Nautilus shells. That's uh, something, that's really something if you ask me. Okay, can I, uh, can I do this? Yep, I can. So, now we can even enter and leave wherever we want. The one thing that this uh, entire contraption is not really equipped for right now is, of course, letting me output the ship onto the surface. Like, that's the one thing I didn't really try, is letting the ship get uh, go up to the surface of the world. But uh, I'm not really bothered about that at the moment, seeing how we have plenty of grass ship and uh, plenty of oak cloak ship over at the amphitheater. So I'm guessing that this is gonna be just fine. Everyone, we got ourselves a, a more or less domesticated spawner and enough sponges to drain the entire ocean around it. My friends, let me just farm up the prismarine ship and we'll turn this survival island into a survival desert. <laughs> oh my god, actually this was quite tedious. I do not wish to do this anymore. So now that we have the dumbest lumber mill ever in Minecraft, we can very easily craft up some wood and start building our ship by the next episode. So I'm guessing that's gonna be just enough progress for today. So thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Sloy XP. This has been Fish and Ships. To be continued, have a good one. Please tell me any good ideas how to do the everything else with my setup. Like, without spoiling the map, but like, just judging from the stuff I already implemented, I, 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 I trust you, you can figure something out. I am running out of good ideas. I mean, I made a flipping ch ship spawner over here. I am very clearly too far gone by this point. Uh, anyway, to be continued, have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>